Well, I'm moving on with my show scope adventure with uh, film number two in this set, which is The Boxer from Shang Tun. And uh, this isn't something I do often where I record the review immediately after finishing the movie. And I've got a feeling that with this one it's probably a big mistake because of that rousing finale, which I will talk about later on. It kind of left me on a, a super high for this movie. The Boxer from Shang Tung was a bit of a surprise because it takes a deviation from a lot of other Shaw Brothers movies that I've seen, falling into the gangster kind of rise and fall uh, type of movie. This one, uh, we fall a, a young man by the name of Young Chen who, along with a friend, arrives in Shanghai looking to make his fame and fortune. Uh, of course, he has nothing with him except the shirt on his back, the chip on his shoulder and the ability to kick plenty of ass. There is no training here, he is already the finished article when he arrives in Shanghai. And he, been, he has a, a chance encounter with a master, uh, Ten, he has a little bout and uh, kind of alludes to the fact that he's going to be like him, he's going to achieve his kind of success and we're going to watch that throughout the movie. This is a little bit of a different kind of gangster movie because it follows a lot of the tropes. We start to see this man build up his business, create a bigger empire, have adversaries to rise against. But there's certain aspects of the story that really um, kind of keep it a little bit fresh. There is a alluded to love story where uh, there is a singer in a, a tea lounge that he has a kind of connection with. You see her as well, there's a connection definitely there. Uh, and as he suddenly gains power, she turns her back on him uh, and he's a little bit crestfallen with that. You know, he feels that with the success should come the adoration and she sees with the success becomes the tropes of powerful uh, and greed, the, the natures of those so, uh, traits. And it, it kind of breaks that mould a little bit by not having that love affair, but just alluding to it. And as other things are gained, this is lost throughout the movie. It's also got an interesting facet with the fact that he is an everyman, a blue collar individual, someone that's not had a great deal. And as he starts to make a great deal, he doesn't fall into some of the other trappings that the other masters have. He doesn't, well for one he isn't called master, he's called brother. He is an equal to these people. He doesn't take advantage of them. He doesn't beat them or berate them or demand the money. Um, yes, he still is taking ill-gotten gains from them, but he doesn't like it. In fact, at one point in the movie he decides to move his turf into a more illicit ill-gotten money where he feels more comfortable taking the money from those people rather than from the hard-working individuals that he has offered protection to at the start of the movie which is really good right. Now, the movie is a little bit drawn out at 2 hours 14 minutes, it's long, but that seems to be another trope of gangster movies, they need to have that kind of length to, to allow the character to grow, to grow big, uh, crestfall uh, at certain points as well throughout it, and I didn't really mind it because I enjoyed the character, I felt that he had a genuine love of fighting, he wanted to test his mettle, he wanted to see how he could cope against other people. It wasn't all about the money and power. That was a, a side benefit of what was happening. It was more about testing his ability, seeing how far he could push himself. Got no words. Just fists. <laughs> And there was a sheer unbridled joy 
within the actor, uh, within the character throughout these fight sequences, he was enjoying it. And the fight sequences are absolutely breathtaking. They're incredibly fun and joyful and bloody in this one as well. Lots of people die. There is multiple times where there are gang fights where there is literally so much going on you can't take it all in. And the fights are choreographed perfectly uh, well and they look terrific and they make use of that wonderful Shaw Brothers direction. You know, the whip pans, uh, the crash zooms, uh, they do some wonderful things where they have characters talking and then it'll pull back really quickly to reveal the location of where the fight's going to take place and how it starts. Lots of those kind of typical camera movements, but they seem to be just a little bit finer here, a little bit more nuanced and a little bit more pertinent to the story. Everything about this movie is leading towards the 20 minute climactic fight. 20 minutes where it has story beats throughout this as well. You know, it's not just a fight for the sake of a fight. There is a purpose behind it. There is a, a force that is driving uh, young yeah, Jean to do what he's going to do in this one. And there are ups and downs, there are setbacks, there are things that he has to overcome and it is exhaustive, it is stunning, it is fantastic, it is brutal, it's everything you could possibly want in a wonderfully choreographed fight sequence. It put me in mind a lot of Tarantino's House of Blue Leaf sequence. <laughs> It's just so much carnage going on here. I mean, at one point our hero picks up a, an attacker and uses him to beat another attacker. And it just is awesome. <laughs> Absolute brilliant. So I, I really enjoyed the boxer from Shan Tung. Uh, yes, it is tropey. Yes, it can be a little bit long for this type of movie but I found it was very fitting um, I I loved the action set pieces the direction I loved uh, the lead actor whose name I, I shouldn't butcher is it Chen Quan Tai I think um, who was excellent uh, and had a certain look about himself <laughs> Um, it's just it's just so much fun in this one. I'm, that's two. Anybody keeping tally? That's two for two. I can't wait to see what the next one has to offer. Again, looks stunning, and I'd love to know your opinion in this movie. You know, you need to let me know in the comment box so we can have a conversation about this title. As always, I've got more content up here that you can see more of my videos. If you think I deserve it, hit the video with a like. Maybe subscribe and share if you haven't already done so. And if you want to go that little bit further, you can join my membership program or the Patreon for as little as 99p a month. And that does me the world of good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Films.